The second question is on exercise. I love an exercise class called Body Jam, which is high intensity cardio dance. That sounds really fun. And I do it three times a week, every week. Well, when you're able to, of course. And if I'm stressed, should I skip it or should I do something more gentle due to cortisol levels in my body? I always feel it's a way of alleviating stress and feel great afterwards. So my question is, on a stressed out day, do you still feel great after you do it? So if, yeah, okay, so I'm getting a head nod. So if you do, then you can do the class, but maybe do it at slightly less intensity. So I had a conversation with a woman earlier today about almost the same thing. She does a very structured cardio and weights routine. And on her ovulation week, she's like flying through it and doing like 20 reps and going mental and loving life. But on before her period, she still wants to go to the class because it makes her feel good, but she can't do it as intensely. So I said, that's absolutely fine. Maybe if you're like meant to do a minute of exercise, maybe just do 30 seconds and slow it down or just slow it down for the full minute. So it's about listening to the body and doing it that way. So I think a lot of us are very attuned to this little voice in our heads that says, oh, I'm just being lazy you know, because like we, you know, with exercise, oh, I, I, I should be doing this exercise, but oh, if I don't do it, I'm being lazy. I'm making an excuse. It's not a real thing. It is a real thing. So if you are feeling stressed, either do something different, or if you really enjoy the class, do it because you said you always feel good after, but just do it a bit less intensity. So I hope that helps, and uh, I think we can all apply that to different areas of our lives. I, I certainly can as well. And I do just think we're really attuned and I think especially as women to be hard on ourselves so it's a bit like oh I've got to be doing a million different things at once and if I'm not I'm a failure and it's about going no this is normal this is hormonal this is you actually honoring your body and listening to yourself so it's actually a really good thing that if you're not being lazy you know you're still wanting to get up and do something but just listen to your body and do what your body says is right for you because I also speak to as many women who do their high intensity they're literally pushing themselves out of the door even though they're exhausted and then they're like and then I have to go over lie down after my spin class and I'm like well that's not right you're meant to feel great after your spin class if you literally feel like you've got to go to bed then then that's not great I speak to men who have the same thing you know the sort of alpha male go 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 sort of personality and then they're like oh I forced myself to do all this exercise and all these meetings and stuff and then I've got to spend the whole weekend in bed recovering so it's not just a female thing men get it as well